Hey guys, back again with a little tutorial on, guess what? Coffee mugs! A lot of people are writing in wanting to know how do you wrap a coffee mug? What are some good coffee mugs to sell? Well, I just wrote, I just listed a couple of uh, items here, or have a couple items here. I just want to show you real briefly. Coffee cups that I like, things I think are very cool. Look at this one. Who do you think would be interested in that? Look at that farmer pair of coffee cups. Uh, farmer overalls. Look at this Mickey Mouse. It's like etched. Has Mickey Mouse in there with Disney on the end of it. So it's the real thing. Clemson. Clemson Tigers. It's etched. Tony the Tiger. Look at that. Bugs Bunny. Uh, you see some of the familiar ones back there. Look at this guy. Garfield. That's right. Garfield the man. What about this one? Wow. Is that cool? These are the kind of coffee cups that I like to sell. Now, this one's a little bit strange. You see that one there? It has a dog a head as a handle. <laughs> but believe it or not, somebody who has that particular type of dog would be interested in it. As always, Starbucks is always a winner. Uh, Buffalo Bills. Look at this one right here. Has a trunk as the handle. You guys already know about Shrek. Disney World. Slurpee. Attitude problem, a vintage Maxwell House cup. Look at these plastic one guys. These were are from the 80s, I think it is. And uh, these are some characters. College cups, University of Arkansas, smiley faces, company cups. All of these kind of cups would sell on eBay. The question comes up then, how do you wrap these different type of cups? Here we go. All right, guys, I have a couple coffee cups here that I want to show you guys. This is a standard uh, size coffee cup. It's uh, just a regular four inch coffee cup. Look at that one compared to this one. Now this is considered an oversized coffee cup. This one is actually just a little bit wider. If you look at it, the mouth of this one is wider, but it's made out of different type of material. This is actually made out of some type of plastic and believe it or not, you can actually ship this item first class. So you wouldn't have any issues uh, getting that one there. No problems whatsoever. Uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, all right. This one has a handle that's a little bit fragile. Can you guys see that? Let me make sure you can see that. Okay, yeah. This one has a handle that's a little bit fragile. You have to take extra care in getting this one uh, to the customer. And I'm going to show you what I recommend on this particular type of cup. But oversized cups, special, special cups that are real, real fragile, I want to tell you uh, we want to ship those a different type of way. Uh, in a regional box but let's just take a standard coffee cup what's the least expensive safest way or least expensive way to get a coffee cup to a customer what I usually do is take two uh, pieces of bubble wrap and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do uh, I start here excuse me I'm outside it's a little windy it was so beautiful today I decided to do it outside and normally I start with the handle you guys see that I end up wrapping it over the handle and I want to have a little piece of tape or two ready. Start over the handle. Go over the handle again. Can you guys see that? The handle is the most vulnerable part of this particular item. And I tape it. And normally what I would do in this particular case is I would tape it down again just to protect it. And just to be on the safe side, you might add a third sheet of bubble wrap. You want to make sure the bubble wrap is facing up. You want to make sure the bubble wrap is facing up. But you want to protect that handle. That handle is absolutely the most vulnerable part of shipping the coffee mug. All right. This one is almost ready to go. You would think that would probably secure it, right? But you got to remember, you're dealing with the U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> Sometimes they get in a hurry, they might throw items. Now, what I've done for the sake of illustration purposes, I just have a piece of cardboard here. This is probably, what, 18 inches, maybe by four or five inches, just the width of the coffee cup. And what you want to do is you want to crease it. And just for illustration purposes, I don't use these, but I just uh, did that for this illustration. You put the handle in a crease. You want to get a little piece of tape so you can be ready, all right? You put the handle in the crease, and what I usually do is wrap it around. You want to wrap it around really, really tight. Okay, because you want to protect that handle. All right? And then you put your piece of tape in place. Well, if I can get the piece of tape to cooperate. <laughs> you put 
put your tape in place. All right. And what I usually do next, guys, I squeeze it. You want to protect this handle. This is absolutely the most vulnerable part of the shipping and of the coffee cup. Wrap it with tape. All right. Now, I want to show you guys something else, too, because people say, well, how do you get it there inexpensively? And this is what I want to show you guys now. Some people use, I've seen uh, videos where people use the padded flat rate envelopes. Can you see the, it's already bubble wrap. I wouldn't trust that by itself. What I use, because that's actually about 30 cent more. I just use the regular priority mail flat rate envelopes. And uh, this one right now is right at about $5. And I open it up. If you can see that just fine. I open it up. Put that part in there, put the handle face up, strip it, and this item is ready to be shipped. Put your label on there, and you are good to go. You are protected. This item could be dropped, and uh, I can almost guarantee you if you use a standard size coffee cup, and if you do it just like that, you won't have any issues whatsoever, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching this, but what happens if you have a oversized cup? Back again with the regional box A, guys. That's the one we're going to use for this particular type of shipping, the oversized cups. And what I've done is just put some uh, a couple sheets of bubble wrap in the bottom. And after bubble wrapping this item, you would have to sit it in there. Now, if you had a handle like this... I don't know if I would feel comfortable laying it down because this is absolutely the most vulnerable part. What I would do, if it were me, was bubble wrap it and ship it just like that. With bubble wrap and fill all over the side to protect the item. That to me would be the least uh, expensive, more most um, safest way to get the item there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it benefited you in some type of way. If it does, please share it with your friends. Uh, subscribe and like us. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot. Make it a great day.